Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the various types of tennis strings and the tension maintenance of each of the categories. I will, I will also be talking about if weather affects the tension and the effects of your tennis. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with synthetics first, and I'm gonna start with the most basic. So everybody knows Prince Synthetic Gut, right? Well, Prince Synthetic Gut has turned into every other type of synthetic gut now. So Wilson makes the synthetic gut, Dunlop makes that S gut, uh, Yonex makes that DynaWire. It's essentially the same string. It may come out of the same factory. Um, since print synthetic got lost that patent because it ran out, everybody jumped on that print synthetic gut bandwagon. Okay, so print synthetic gut with Duraflex, it's essentially the same stuff as everybody else now. All right, so what is so special about this string? In today's world, basically nothing. Back in the day, it was probably the best string out, but we were comparing it to pretty much garbage string, right? That that stuff that starts with a V that I always forget with the spirals through it. Um, Victory, I think it was called Victory. But back then, this, you know, print synthetic gut was the industry standard, right? Number one string for a long, long time. Today, I mean, you got so many better strings out there. Pretty much everything is better out there now. Uh, so if you just want plain string and you don't care, string doesn't affect the way you play, this stuff works, right? It, it doesn't hold tension very well. You probably get a good 10, 15 hours of consistent tension holding with this stuff, maybe even less, because I'm thinking I'm being really generous right now. So, um, but you know, you kind of get, you get what you pay for, right? This stuff isn't very expensive. Um, so therefore it's not gonna play very well, right? When you move into some, like some of the premium ones, like this Gamma Professional, um, you're definitely paying for performance. This stuff holds tension very well. Uh, 20 to 40 hours is what I see, right? It plays well pretty much off the bat. It doesn't lose tension very fast. So it holds it very well for a longer period of time. Plus it gives you more spin, power and feel. So the better the string on the synthetic end, the more benefits you gain, right? So the more you pay, the more I feel that it feels more like gut. I mean, nothing is ever going to be natural gut because you just can't replicate a natural fiber. Uh, but it, it gets close. It gets close, you know. So you're basically paying for performance, right? Feel, power, spin, right? And for the most part, control, right? Because the string is like, the string is like the tires to your car, right? If you have a race car, you probably want softer tires so that it sticks to the road because it's it contacts the, the road, right? So a softer tire, higher performance. A harder tire, the more the tire is gonna last you, but the harder the ride. So if you want a comfortable, you know, comfortable string to play with, you want a softer string, right? Therefore, the higher performance strings will give you that plush cushion ride, right? So you, I mean, nobody rides a Ferrari with some like Fred Flintstone rock tires, right? That doesn't make any sense, okay? You get some Yokohamas or Pirellis that run like $500 each, you know? They don't last long, but they sure stick to the road when you hang those turns, right? So it's kind of the same thing, right? You When you want to spin the ball, 
You want the strings that contact the ball to be able to grab that ball and spin it, right? Or to move and snap and, and spin the ball and give you the feel, right? Same concept, okay? Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is polyester. So polyester is a firmer string, right? It lasts longer, right? It gives you spin because it's usually smooth or even when it's edged, right? It actually slides, okay? So polyester strings really hold tension maybe 10 to 20 to 30 hours uh, before it really kind of drops a lot. So um, I've run tests where I've tested these strings for literally 60 days. Every day I would test the tension of polyester and without playing it, it would just be sitting in the racket, right? So overnight, you know, literally 12 hours later after I string a racket, um, 55 pounds on 100 square inch frame, it has already dropped 10% without play, right? So after it plays, it drops a little even more. But I've, I took that first tester, tester racket and just left it there for 60 days. Now, what did that tell me? Over the first two weeks, it drops about 23%. So it, it's like a slow decline down, right? And again, this is without play. Now, after that, it actually plateaus. In the two to three week, it actually holds, holds on to the tension uh, for probably a seven day to 10 day period, right? It holds on for about a 10 day period and then it starts to slide ever so slightly, ever so slightly, right? Into the 30th day, it's lost about 30% already, okay? Now, into the second month of the test, it actually, we found that in the 40th day that it plateaus again. So in the 35 pound, 38 pound range, it actually holds there for another seven, seven days. So it actually plateaus again. It, it just hangs there for another seven days, right? And then towards the end, it actually starts to slowly slide down again. So the 55 pound string with the full bed of poly on the 100 square inch head racket turned out to be about 32 pounds at the end of the 60 days, just sitting there, no play, zero play, okay? So can you imagine like it sits in your car, in the heat, you play with it, how fast tension loses, right? So I know for a fact that when I work with the pros, they want this string, because most of them use polyester, actually all of them use polyester, except for some of them use natural gut, that they want this when they ask, when they string fresh off the machine, right? Like I strung Jack Sox racket, right? He always brought them to me at eight in the morning, four of them, right? So, and he wanted it at 31 pounds, all four of them, but he wanted them by 10 o'clock. So he gave me two hours to do four of his rackets every morning, right? So this was a challenger tournament he brought me four rackets starting on Tuesday, because that's when he started playing. And he handed me four rackets the first day. I did them. All right, Wednesday came, he handed me the same four. I was looking at his frames and, I, and there was one that wasn't played with. You could tell that it wasn't played with. And I said, hey Jack, 
this this one hasn't been played with. He looks at me and he goes, I know, it doesn't matter. So what does that tell you, right? By sitting there overnight for 24 hours, it was literally 24 hours later, right? He notices that the tension has dropped, right? Even without him swinging the racket, right? So he proceeded to do that until the end of the tournament. He wound up being the winner, right? But he handed me four rackets every day at eight o'clock, just like clockwork, right? So polyester loses tension, loses tension pretty quickly. So for the regular club tennis player, right? This may not break on you right? Or it'll take a long, long time to break on you. So for you, I would say you're probably going to have to cut this out eventually um, and, and change it because it's going to be like a, you know, trampoline fishing net after a while. Uh, it's just going to spring off and it'll never break because it's so stretched out now. Um, that's why for like club players, we, we mix these two. You know, this, this for the spin and the durability, this for, you know, holding the tension and the control, right? So you mix these two, then you get a longer lasting life of the tension in your racket, right? Either going this way or this way, um, you know, depending on how, uh, how hard you are on the strings, how fast you break the strings, if you break the strings, right? Now, gut, the best string out there. It, it plays super well. It has good power. The thing about gut is I personally don't like gut the first two days. Like the first day out, it feels really hard to me, right? The second day out still kind of feels hard to me, right? The third day out, it kind of starts getting into its sweet spot. So the third to maybe the 10th time that I play with this, so we're into about 20 hours now of play, um, is probably the sweet spot of the gut. Um, after, let's say, the 20th hour, it, it kind of falls off and becomes really, really soft, really, really springy. Um, you know, it, it, it's when it kind of falls off its own cliff. It, it plays well, uh, probably from the fourth hour of play to the 20th hour of play, you know, depending on, you know, if you play consistently. So if you leave it in the car, you know, over, you know, weeks in the winter or the summer, it may just break in your car, you know, because it can't stand the, the extreme conditions, all right? So that's another point, actually. Um, synthetic will hold up the best if you leave your strings in the car. Uh, poly and gut will not. I remember when Wilson first came out with that Revolve string, uh, that orange stuff, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I put it in my racket because I was so excited, you know, about, oh, it's a poly and it's orange and I love orange and Halloween. So I put it in my racket and I didn't get to play that week. So I wound up leaving in the trunk of my car and it was kind of warm that week. So after that week, I took it out. I strung it at 55 to start, right? And after sitting there for a week, I took it out and it was literally a trampoline. It, the, my first hit hit the fence and it went bang. And I'm like, oh man. And then when I hit the string, it was like, ring, ring. And I'm like, oh man, this is not a good string for holding tension. So I was like, ah, this doesn't work. And I even complained. I was like, this string's not going to work. People are going to leave, leave the string with the racket in the car. And they're going to wind up with like literally a fishing net when they're done. After what, a week? Come on. Right? So, and there are some strings that hold tension better than others. Uh, we can talk about that in another video. All right, but um, I want to change subjects now uh, to to weather. 
uh, does weather affect the strings? The answer is yes. Uh, today is uh, like 90 degrees outside, right? Strings will be softer and livelier as well as the balls, right? When it's hot. So my number one complaint when we start getting hot like this is, wow, my balls are going out. Oh, my balls are flying. Oh, do I, there's something wrong. Like, no, there's nothing wrong. It's the weather, right? Because in the winter, in the winter, people tell me the opposite. My balls aren't going anywhere. You know, I, I can't hit through the ball. Well, because the ball's harder, your string is harder. So your strings are now deader because everything is cold, right? Think about it. When you, when your body is warm, right? You're more flexible, right? It's the same with the strings. When your body is cold, it's stiffer, right? So your strings are stiffer in the cold. They don't want to, when that ball strikes the string, if it's hot, it's going to wing, right? If it's stiff and cold, it's not going to want to give so much and shoot it out of there. Same thing with the strings, right? So what I'm telling you is when it gets hot, just get a, get a string job. Like don't, you don't need to string it tighter unless you are really going into like, you know, 100 degree weather or some altitude, right? Just get a restring. And then in the winter, when it's cold, maybe want to string it a little looser, right? Just to get a little more spring from your strings, right? So any questions about string, string tension, weather, uh, shoot it over to me. Uh, I'm sorry, a little behind on answering comments. Been a little busy uh, lately. All right, thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.